Nothing is confusing like the nature of man. Confusing and unknown to the beholder and those around him. When one is still alive, we criticize, we condemn, we fight, we do more of the negative and less of the positive. But when he is gone, we start praising, glorifying, defending, supporting. That's when we do more of the positive and less of the negative. Is it by the nature of man that in presence we see the negative and in absence we see the positive? No matter how good you try to be, the good things you try to do for other people, they only value less and appreciate less, especially when you're still alive. Why does it take absence to value presence? Why does it take bad to appreciate good? Why does it take pain to value gain? Why does it take hate to appreciate love? Is it the nature of man or the nature of life? This confuses me a lot. When we have a chance, we misuse it. When it's gone, we realize it. When we have an opportunity, we don't see it. When it's gone, we realize it. When we have the ability to make decisions, we ignore it. When it's gone, we seek it. Why does it take death to value life? Why does it take loss to acknowledge profit? Why does it take then to value now? It doesn't matter how far you are educated, powerful, wealthy, or possessing extraordinary advantages. There are questions you can never answer. We work hard to satisfy our desires, to make ourselves proud, and yet never satisfied and never proud. We build mansions, acquire lots and lots of land, and yet occupy 0.1% of the total. When we think we have everything, that's when we realize we have nothing. When we think we know everything, that's when we discover we knew or we know nothing. We try to seek identity, worth, value, meaning from the things we possess and the things we acquire, and yet they are all perishable. We come with nothing and we live with nothing. Nothing is confusing like the nature of man and nothing is confusing like the nature of life. When we have time, we spend it unnecessarily. When we, when we realize we are running out of it, we start regretting, had I known. Life is confusing only to the confused, and I am among the confused. To some, life is a mystery. To others, life is certain. And for me, I don't know where I stand. And from today, for me I admit, I don't know anything. I don't know what to do and when to do it. I don't know everything I need to know. What I know is what I have been told. What I know is what I have read. And yet, there is still more, more to read, more to know. Life is a mystery and only the Creator knows everything. All that I know is what I have been allowed to know. Therefore, I admit, I don't know. Yes, I don't know. But this is what I will do. With my ignorance, I will pray the Lord's Prayer until I understand it. I will trust in the Lord, the Creator of heaven and earth. In my weakness and in my strength, I will trust in my Savior, my Lord Jesus Christ. Trying to please men is a terrible job. Different people, different tests. Different people, different opinions. But this is what I will do. 
I will please only one person who is above all, the Lord my God, my Creator. The Lord is my shepherd, and all this is possible through Christ who strengthens me. Amen.